Time tracking is something that a lot of teams want to do inside of Jira, but not something that Jira does quite well. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Planningway and looking at how they manage time tracking and so much more. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, drop a like if you get value out of this video, and don't forget to check out that link down below because you definitely want to start your free trial to Planningway, link down below. All right, let's jump into Jira and let's take a look at Planningway and what it offers for you and your team. So here we are inside of Jira and there's actually two different ways to interact with Planningway. You're going to be able to click on the app section over here, go into Planningway, and the ticket itself is also gonna have an interface with Planningway. Now, Planningway is a perfect solution for research management, time tracking, and roadmap planning. But in this video, we're gonna be focusing on the time tracking aspect of it. And I'm just gonna be showing you how it does time tracking and kind of compare it with the out of the box solution just so that you're aware of how all of this works. Now, in order to start with the time tracking, I'm not gonna start here. I am gonna come back to this, so make sure you are subscribed and make sure you're watching the entire video because we are gonna come back to this section here and talk about time tracking. But first, I wanna show you the interface from within a Jira ticket. So to do that, just go to any project, and so I'm just gonna open up a task. I have one right here. And when you do install Planningway, on the right-hand side, you're gonna have a Planningway section. Now, this is going to get us something that is a little bit different than what you're used to seeing from other apps and specifically from the native Jira time tracking because in native Jira time tracking, we typically use the time tracking area here, but not with Planningway. What I like is that you have a dedicated section. And the reason that you have the dedicated section is because you have a really cool feature here that isn't available by default in Jira. And that is when you're tracking time, it's a very manual process. It's quite annoying actually, right? Because you have to remember to go back in time and essentially put your time in. And it's very retroactive. And what I like about Planet Ways is really cool feature. I haven't seen this implemented in a lot of tools, so this is kind of cool, but you can essentially click on the start timer. And when you do that, a timer is automatically set up for you. So that way you can go off and just work and do whatever you're supposed to do and not worry so much about like, oh, did I do it? Did I stop? Did I, like, did I lock my time? Like what's going on, right? Like all of that is automatically gonna be taken care of for you. Now, if you are accustomed to the old way, right? If you're like, hmm, I still like having control, I'm gonna show you a couple of different ways that you can still track time the traditional way. But I wanted to call that one out because I thought that was a pretty cool feature that it basically, it simplifies it, right? It's a, it simplifies the experience that your user has by just giving them a very intuitive timer that they can click on. But again, we have a couple of different other ways that I'm gonna show you throughout this video to track your time. Now, another thing that you can do here is set dates. Now, this is gonna be a teaser, right? This is gonna be a teaser that we're gonna look at for the future, but this is another little added bonus that you get in the planning way section. But again, you're gonna to wanna to subscribe and make sure you come back for our future video where we're gonna talk about how this part works. For now, let's just wrap up the time tracking. So I'm gonna hit stop here. And this is essentially gonna basically say, hey, we spent a minute on something. You can always tweak that, tweak the date, tweak the time, put the description of what we did, demo for video and click on save, and now your work log entry is saved. And again, just to reiterate, if you like the old way, right, if you like to have a little bit more control from within the ticket itself, you're able to click on this log time here, and you're gonna basically be able to do exactly what I just did with the timer, but now just you manually put whatever you want. So you can put your one hour, adjust the date, adjust the time, put a description, click that save button, and you're entry is going to be recorded. So that's the interface on what it looks like from within the ticket. We're gonna go back to the beginning of the video and go back to our app section over here on the left-hand side and find that Planningway app. And now I'm gonna walk you through what the interface looks like over here. And so we're gonna start off with time tracking and you might not be in this view. There's a drop down here where you can change between list or calendar view. I'm gonna start off with calendar because I really like this view. So let's assume that you, again, don't really like this whole manual entry, but you really do like this calendar or, or maybe you, you have a to-do list that you normally like track your time on. And I really like this feature right here. So all you're gonna do is simply click and drag and drop. And then I have eight hours. Notice that you wanna select an issue. So like all the other tools and like all the native functionality, it has to be tracked against a ticket. So I'm gonna put in this one right here. I'm gonna put eight hours. You can add your note. Uh, demo purposes only, 
and click that save button, all right? So I got an eight hour entry just like that, super easy. The other thing you can do is grab an existing ticket and just drop it onto the calendar. And this is gonna do 30 minute increments, but of course you can come in here and edit and maybe make it an hour or whatever you need to do. You can click enter and that entry is gonna be saved. You can also, as you saw there, you can open it in Jira and then go do this all inside of Jira. But I like this intuitive, like just drag and drop 30 minutes at a time, but then you can always even drag and drop it there and adjust the time. So that's really, really cool. Cause again, it's very intuitive. It just feels very natural and it's just easy to do, okay? It's just the more minimal barrier to entry, the more easier time tracking is, the more likely you're gonna have your team actually doing the time tracking because let's face it, time tracking is a bit of a pain and anytime that we can just lower that barrier, lower that friction, just make it easy for your team members, the likelihood that they're gonna actually input their time and use the tool is gonna go up by that much more. So I like that you have options because you can just pick the option that you're comfortable with. And so if you like to drag and drop, you can do that. If you like to do it inside the ticket, you can do that. If you like to run the timer, you can do that. So now let's take a look at the list view. So similar to what we're looking at in other views, we have a timer over here so we can start a timer. Of course, we have to select our issue first. So I'm just gonna do this one here. We can start a timer. Or if we wanted to just manually lock some time, we can again, select an issue here and then hit the lock time. And now we're gonna be able to set those 30 minutes. So very quick, very just, again, very intuitive, very easy to get in there. You pick your issue, whatever issue you're working on, put the time and then just log it. And that's it. That's super simple, right? Again, that barrier to entry is so low. And as you can see over here on the right-hand side, you can look at everything that's in your board. You can group them by an epic, by your release or have no grouping. You can look at just the epics. You can look at just the releases. Um, you can also, if you scroll to the right, you will see your different statuses. So you have like a miniature board in here, which I thought was really cool because now you can just pick the task you're working on go down to the planning way section and lock your time that way. So I really like that view as well. So that's the time tracking. Those are the two different views. And the last thing I want to cover is the report. So if I click on reports over here, what can we see in the report? So first of all, you're going to want to set your dates. This is going to be pretty critical. Pick the time, the, the bounds, the, the start and the end of when you want to do this. And you can have simple things like, hey, I want to look at last week. I want to look at last month. These are very common things. So I like that this is there. Or of course you can pick your own custom and pick whatever you want there. Let's just look at all last month, hit accept. And then you can pick your project. So maybe you want to zoom in on a specific project or a specific team. And so you can just zoom in there and I probably won't have anything on that one. So let's see if I can pick one that does have something. And as you can see, you picked a couple of projects there. And then if you have way too much data still and you want to narrow it down even more, you can pick a specific user and you can see what times that specific user has entered for those projects for that period of performance. So this is kind of cool. And then once you have your report, once you've selected what you want, you can share the current view with the link. You can export it out to Excel or CSV. And I know you're going to go crazy and do a lot of cool stuff over there. So you can just bring it into your native environment. So that's really cool. And yeah, it's super simple to share. You can do some more filtering and it's just a super simple report that just gives you a good accumulation of your issues. Or if you want to look at it by user, you can see all the different uh, the breakdown, the, the, the entire decomposition of that particular user. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you're subscribed and make sure you drop a like because we're going to be dropping two more videos. We're going to be looking at those resource managements and we're going to be looking at how to do roadmap planning with Planningway because this is one of the advantages of this tool. Other tools in the marketplace and even the built-in time tracking built-in, it only gives you the ability to track time. And so this one with the same low cost we're able to use it for a couple of different use cases, uh, specifically resource management. This is this is something that's not easily done inside of Jira. So I'm very excited to present and show you how Planningway handles that. And then we'll do a little bit of road mapping in a third video. So again, make sure you subscribe, make sure you drop a like. And most importantly, if this is an app you want to start trying out, there's a special link down there in the description for you. Go get started with your free trial to Planningway today. That's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.